Very few passengers uh, receive a pat-down. Um, those uh, who decide they don't want to go through the walk-through metal detector or the new AIT machines, um, there has to be a way to screen them, and the way to screen them is with a pat-down. Uh, then, if uh, an individual, uh, if there are things that uh, alarm, either on the walk-through metal detector or on the AIT machines, uh, those also have to be patted down to resolve what caused the alarm. So there's a process for each of those. And uh, in the uh, ultimate uh, kind of pat-down, or the so-called resolution pat-down, passenger has a right to go in a private room, always with a companion. Uh, with a inspector of the same gender. Um, so uh, there, there's a, a series of processes there uh, designed to make sure that even in that setting, uh, we're paying attention to passenger privacy concerns for those uh, who have them. We all remember the day, or at least I remember the day, when uh, you didn't have to go through a walk-through metal detector uh, of, of any type. Uh, when you could, uh, you know, bring a gun uh, on an airplane and smoke on an airplane. I mean, travel is a continually um, evolving process. And just as those things have evolved over time, I'm sure that uh, there will be evolution in the technology and other things uh, that uh, will make, uh, well, uh, passengers will feel. Now, will they see a difference in the short term? Um, I can't guarantee that. And the reason is uh, because... We want to make sure, our number one goal is to make sure that the passenger security is protected and that passengers have confidence that everybody else in the plane has been adequately screened.